in the gospel text of today, which is taken from the gospel of Matthew chapter 13, verses 10 to 17, we encounter two different attitudes. And the different attitudes are encountered because of the background to these attitudes and the question of the disciples. Chapter 13 of the Gospel of Matthew, from which our text is taken, is known as the parable discourse of Matthew, in which we find a total of seven parables. A parable is a comparison. A parable can be termed a simile, where you place one by the side of the other for comparison. And Jesus tells parables because he does not want to impose his view on people. A parable is dialogical. A parable does not supply the lesson. A parable tells the story or places the simile before us. And we, as the listeners, have to supply the lesson. And so, the disciples come to Jesus to say, Why do you speak in parables? And Jesus responds that he speaks in parables only to those who are closed. And this is the first attitude which we are exposed to, a closed attitude on the part of the religious leaders, on the part of the righteous, on the part of those who think they know everything. To them, everything will be in parables because Jesus does not want to impose his view on them. They are closed and so Jesus wants to use that form which will invite them, which will draw them, which will make them reflect on their position. However, it is very often, as we notice in the life of Jesus, that those who were opposed to him, his adversaries, choose the negative interpretation and they are free to do that. As an opposite reaction, there is the attitude of the disciples, which is an open attitude. And even though the disciples might not have understood everything, their response to Jesus was a positive response and because their response was positive, Jesus would reveal more to them. He found that he could reveal to them, even without parables, himself. At the end of the gospel text of today, we see the consequence of the closed attitude and of the open attitude. The open attitude, Jesus says that you are blessed because even angels and prophets, prophets who have gone before you and angels who are in heaven have not experienced what you are experiencing because you are experiencing in a human form the divine Son of God. And this kind of experience, those who are closed will never experience. And that is why he ends with these birds. But happy are your eyes because they see. For I tell you, prophets and holy men and women long to see what you saw. And never saw it. To hear what you heard and never heard it. We too are blessed today. Because we keep hearing these parables of Jesus. And if we are open, and if we choose the positive interpretation that every parable supplies, we too will be revealed Jesus in the form that he is now, the cosmic Christ. He will make himself known to us because he knows that we are open. If we choose, however, a pessimistic interpretation, a negative interpretation, if we choose, however, not to interpret any of the parables positively, it is very likely that like those who were self-righteous, like those who thought they knew it all, we will receive no revelation 
at all. Will you be open to the revelation that the Lord is making to you today? How will you show that in your life?